This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for Streamside Adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin, standing in front of the trophies. Now is the time. The rut's on, the deer are moving. Thank goodness for the colder temperature if you're an archery hunter. You've been waiting for that. You know, during that early muzzleloader season where you could shoot a, a bear or a deer or a buck, you could use any of the muzzleloaders or crossbows, we were invited to Camp Freedom. Now, Jamie Bird is the general manager over there, and he said, come on up, we've got some special guests you can go hunting with. We are here uh, this morning at Camp Freedom. Uh, it's almost uh, six o'clock, and uh, we're getting ready to head out to the blind this morning. So, so uh, what are we hunting for? Yeah, so this week uh, we've got uh, we got a lot of options on the table. Is that uh, we've got uh, buck and doe uh, that, that are on the table, and then this opens up muzzleloader uh, black bear as well. So we're excited. So who's hunting with us today? Yeah, so this morning we've got Sandy. Is that uh, so this week? Uh, here at Camp Freedom is our, our all uh, ladies week uh, that's here. So uh, we have nothing but uh, but uh, ladies that are here uh, in camp with us. Uh, both of them are, are veterans and uh, have been in for a very long time. And so uh, we're excited about taking them hunting this morning. So we're going back to uh, to Gertie's. Is that uh, I think you guys have hunted there with us uh, before, but we're going back to Gertie's. It's uh, one of our outside food plots uh, that we have here. Um, that's uh, it's a beautiful food plot. Uh, has not been hunted yet uh, at all this season, so we're excited to see what's uh, what's going to show up. So we'll go out this morning until about 10 o'clock, uh, unless uh, you know uh, Sandy decides she wants to come in and, uh, and grab lunch earlier. But we'll sit till about 10 o'clock until everybody's uh, ready to come in. Then we'll come in, grab some lunch, rest up, and come back out this evening. And are you going to coach her into the, into the shots? Absolutely. Is that so? What we look for here is that we're looking for an eight point, at least an eight point, and uh, and outside the ears uh, on a buck. And so uh, what will happen is that we'll uh, you know animal walks out. I'll help her get into position, uh, help her uh, with the animal's position as well, tell her if it's a good shot or if it's no shot, um, wait till the animal's broadside, and then uh, then help her stop it, range it, uh, and do all that. And so all she has to worry about is squeezing the trigger and making a good shot. We sat in the blind for a couple of hours, patiently waiting for something to show up. And as luck would have it, the first deer walked behind the blind. Oh, jeez, deer right behind us. Walking right behind the blind. We quietly did the human body shuffle in the blind, trying to get Sandy in position for a shot. Do you want to set up here? That's at 30 yards. I don't feel comfortable through the trees like that. That's okay. And we watched as our buck walked away. We stayed in the blind until around 10 o'clock and then headed back to the lodge, giving us an opportunity to get to know Sandy a little better. I'm a Vietnam vet. Um, I did not fight in Vietnam, but I did keep it support and keep the planes flying and along, things along those lines working in base supply. Um, I was active duty for 10 years. Um, I was stationed at Langley Air Force Base, Virginia for quite a while. Um, we were the second military installation after Luke to get the F-15s. Um, when I got out after 10 years, I went to work with NASA and the Space Shuttle Program at Edwards Air Force Base in California. And then I changed over and, and, uh, and became a federal employee with, at, worked at Edwards Air Force Base and um, worked at uh, demand processing and within base supply and uh, um, general equipment inspector. And then I drove 
from California back home to Pennsylvania with seven dogs, three cats, and pulled a six by 12 trailer and <laughs> ended up back home. Back home, where's home? I'm living in Schuylkill County and on 34 acres of absolutely gorgeous woods. For several years, I had contacted other um, organizations as far as you know, supporting veterans and things along those lines. And uh, they either weren't interested with vet Vietnam veterans or they just didn't want an active duty. Um, so I saw Camp Freedom on one of your shows, actually, and uh, I ended up giving them a call and asking them what, you know, what they offered and things along those lines. And the next thing I know, I get a phone call saying I was chosen for this hunt. And I'm there, oh my God, you're the first one ever responded back to me for anything. And so I was absolutely thrilled. And I said, of course I'm coming. So here I am. <laughs> We headed back to the blind for the evening hunt. Needless to say, Sandy was excited about her second sit. Keep in mind, she's only been hunting for five years and shot her first buck last year, a nine point weighing 165 pounds. She did hunt for three days without filling a tag, but says it's been a great experience. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful. Even though the weather's a little wacky, it's it's still absolutely beautiful up here. I I urge anyone who wants to just kind of get away and enjoy the camaraderie, enjoy the scenery, and the, um, the aesthetic value of the entire you know property, come to Camp Freedom. Part of our property, we have over 880 acres of, of high fence property that's here, where we have world-class whitetail, we have elk, and we have red stag that are on our property. So very similar to uh, a lot of uh, high fence uh, hunting uh, that, that goes on here in the state of Pennsylvania, um, is that we have the, the same thing. And so what uh, people can do with us is that they can come here and they can hunt one of these animals um, inside of our high fence and, and pay to hunt that, uh, that animal have this phenomenal experience, be able to take that meat home with them, be able to take the trophy uh, to the taxidermist, have that taken care of. And then um, for them as a donor, is that it's considered a charitable donation. Uh, so they're able to use that as a tax write-off. And then what it does for us is that it allows us to take veterans, first responders, and Gold Star family members out and hunt uh, during the season, so. The other woman veteran taking advantage of the hunt is Stephanie Wolf. She was able to hunt in the regulated area because she was sponsored by Grim Construction. We hope that when people come here is that what they can expect is an interaction with other veterans, um, other first responders, uh, or family members of. And so uh, when they come here is that what we want to do is provide them an opportunity to just enjoy the outdoors and be able to relax and have some time in the outdoors where they can, uh, they can feel at peace. Um, we want them to come here and, and have a sense of community and know that, that things are okay um, and there, there are people that are out there that care about them and want them to be better. And we want to help them along that path as they go forward. I'm Stephanie Walloff. I'm a U.S. Army veteran. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Grimm Construction and Sar um, in honor of Frank Sargent for this hunt here um, at Camp Freedom. It's been an amazing week. Today is day two, and I got a trophy deer. Sorry. It's just been amazing. Today it was great. I don't think I've ever had an experience anything like this. Congratulations, Stephanie, and of course, Sandy, it was great spending time with you. Camp Freedom, a worthy nonprofit for veterans. You want to get involved, check them out. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back.